Kini project researchers have for the first time in history tested the final version of the bio-artificial kidney. This will change everything for people suffering from chronic kidney disease. Catherine from WRU Kini here, welcome to a very special video today. What just happened is more than a milestone in the creation of the bioartificial kidney. This is the biggest goal the kidney project has ever achieved. It means hope for millions of kidney disease sufferers around the world. The bioartificial kidney is a lab-made kidney that can be implanted and that will be able to do the job of the kidneys completely. And stage kidney disease patients who will receive it will not need dialysis at all. So, who is going to be the first one in the world to get an artificial kidney? Maybe someone watching me right now? I've been closely following the development of the artificial kidney for years and after today's news, I'm fairly convinced they're going to be able to start testing the bioartificial kidney on humans already in 2022. Amazing, isn't it? And there is one more thing that I want to show you in today's video. If you or a loved one are in need for a transplant right now, there is a way to get a transplanted kidney fast, years faster than usual. Because, for example, if you are in Philadelphia, the wait for a kidney is 8 years and a half. But if you live in Allentown, just one hour away, the wait is just 2 years and a half. And you can even list in multiple centers to receive a kidney even faster. And today, I'll show you how. Now, the bioartificial kidney. Here is what all the fuss is about. Here is the big news. After a decade of development to refine the hemofilter and bioreactor, the two components of the bioartificial kidney, researchers were finally able to successfully create and test preclinical prototypes of the complete bioartificial kidney. The reason why this is an incredible achievement is because we are talking about a bioartificial organ here. I mean, that's what sci-fi movie cyborgs are made of. What may just look like a polycarbonate box actually contains a live, lab-grown kidney cells. It's able to filter and process the blood like a human kidney would. This is not just a possibility in the future. They actually did it. They assembled the components. They cultivated the kidney cells. They put it all together and shown the world that it can be done. The silicon membranes were mounted in polycarbonate hosting to construct hemofilters. In a similar way, bioreactors were assembled to immunoprotect the renal tubule cells. Then, the hemofilter and bioreactor components were then connected to create bioartificial kidney prototypes. In proof of concept experiments, the hemofilter operated under blood pressure alone without systemic anticoagulation. And this is an achievement by itself. Not even human transplanted kidneys can do this. Most important, they were able to keep the renal cells in the bioreactor alive and healthy without immunosuppression for the whole test. As I was saying, the whole system is able to operate only under blood pressure once implanted. It works just like a human kidney, with one big difference. It will not need immune suppression after the transplant. This is what Dr. Roy, project leader, is most proud of. Our team engineered the artificial kidney to sustainably support a culture of human kidney cells without provoking an immune response. 
said Roy. Now that we have demonstrated the feasibility of combining the hemofilter and bioreactor, we can focus on upscaling the technology for more rigorous preclinical testing and ultimately human trials. And this is why this was more than just a tabletop test. Remember that the bioartificial kidney contains a live renal cells. This is how it does its job. And they were actually able to manufacture and test it completely this time. The bioartificial kidney consists of two modules that work together and that are powered by the human body. The hemofilter basically does what a dialysis machine does. It removes toxins and scores from the blood. The bioreactor here helps performing the other functions of the kidney such as regulating blood pressure. This part contains alive kidney cells. Prior to this, the kidney project successfully tested the hemofilter and the bioreactor separately in animals. Now, what made this incredible step forward possible? The reason why they were now able to complete the project and put it all together is the Kini X Prize. Kini X is a public-private partnership between the US Department of Health and Human Services and the American Society of Nephrology. It was founded to accelerate innovation in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of kidney diseases. They just awarded by Artificial Kidney Project $650,000 for its first ever demonstration of a functional prototype of its implantable artificial kidney. Yes, it's all about the money. And it's clear that they are going to need more money to bring this project into the next phase, the human trials. This is why it's important to raise the awareness for this incredible project. So share this video with anyone you know who may suffer from kidney problems. They may want to know more about this too. Raising the awareness is also going to help the development of the bioartificial kidney. And also give a like to the Facebook page of the Kidney Project, the researchers responsible for the bioartificial kidney. It's down there in the description. They can also receive donations if you are so inclined. Now, a question I always get about the bioartificial kidney. When is it going to be available? Here's what Dr. Shuva Roy says about this. What we are doing right now is working on obtaining the FDA approval for testing the completed bioartificial kidney on humans. We expect to arrive at this final stage of clinical trials by late 2021. Very interesting, he also added that he is confident that the completed product will be commercialized already in 2025. Amazing! And by the way, if any of you guys are interested in participating in the human trials for the artificial kidneys, and yes, human trials are on schedule to be starting already next year, the Kidney Project has a database, a sort of waiting list for people wanting to be test subjects for the artificial kidney. You can find all the info down in video description. Now guys, what about the tool that lets you find a transplant fast? There is a free website that took the government data about kidney transplants and waiting times and made it easy to look at it. This is very, very interesting if you or a loved one are in need for a life-saving kidney transplant right now. The waiting time for a kidney transplant varies greatly, not just between regions, but also between different hospitals in the same city. So if you live in the US, take a look at this map. Link to this free tool is in description, so you can find the best way to get listed in a hospital that has the shortest wait possible. It is also worth knowing that in the US, there are 58 organ procurement organizations with 58 different lists. In theory, you could be registered in all of them. Yes, you don't have to be registered in just one list. Practically, the best course of action is finding the nearest hospital with the shortest waiting time. There are about 20 transplant centers in the country that have less than two-year wait. 
Some will not be covered by your insurance, some will be too far away from you, some will not return your phone calls, emails, some will take too long to evaluate you. That will narrow your search down to four to five centers. Also very important, you are eligible to get on the transplant list at EGFR of 20%, creatinine of 2.8, that has been confirmed by the blood test. Now guys, if you want to know more about this or about the artificial kidney, ask down in comment section. I always do my best to answer every comment I can. And guys, the artificial kidney is not the only hope for those in need of a transplant. There are six other technologies that can get you or a loved one out of dialysis. I've talked about this in one of my recent videos. It's up here if you have missed it. A new video is coming next Tuesday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.